Yeah, so we're just leaving Scarborough Bray and Scale House and we're going to have a little drive around the top of Orkney which we haven't managed yet. Up to Bursay. Up to Bursay, yeah. There are loads of islands in Orkney and uh, we, we can't visit most of them because <laughs> we have, we're not going to boat. No. <laughs> Should have come brought a boat with us, shouldn't it? Could have towed a boat. Yeah. That's right. That's one <laughs> thing you can do with the motor. Yep. Could tow a little, uh, a little dinghy, couldn't we? We could. Power yeah. dinghy. Yeah, that'd be fun. Actually, it's not such a bad idea if you visit it all me. <laughs> Mind you, you'd have to reverse it onto the ferry. Oh, great. No. Circle here. I'm going to both say then, are we? Yeah. Okay. That's right. And then we're going back down there towards Kirkwall again. So this is the palace, isn't it? When we visited Kirkwall, there was the um, palace there. This was the original palace at Bursay. Right. This one here. Yeah. Turn left onto A966. So do you want to have a look at the Earl's Palace at Bursay? If we can park, yeah. No parking buses only, it says up there. Hmm. No, I won't go down there. All right, go a little bit further up. We'll have to probably have to walk, won't we? <coughs> About here. That just means there, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah, that'll do, isn't it? on another island, doesn't it? Which you'll insert here somewhere. So that's the Palace of Bursa. Let's go and have a look at it. So I couldn't see what was round uh, the corner. Around the corner. Yeah, so we can see the windows filled in there. Parking for uh, the farm, isn't it? Mm. And this looks very tight just here. Yeah. Well, it's actually locked. <laughs> yeah, I don't think we're allowed in. No, oh, mind you, there's another gate down there. Oh, is that right? Yeah. Hmm. Reminds me of that uh, a church on um, Holy Island. So this was the Earl's Palace at Bursay. So Lord Robert was the illegitimate son of King James V the, the and noblewoman Ephemia Elphinstone. It's a name and a half, isn't it? <laughs> he was made Earl of Orkney in 1581 by his nephew, King James VI, but began building the palace long before that in 1574. He considered himself the absolute ruler of Orkney and Shetland, as did his son and successor, Earl Patrick. Who we met in Kirkwall, didn't we, with his palace. An he was the baddie, wasn't he? Yeah. An inscription above the palace's main entrance hinted at Robert's ambition. In Latin it said, Lord Robert Stuart, son of King James V, King of Scots, commissioned this building. However, the Latin had a mistake, which suggested that Robert, rather than his father, was the king. Don't! <laughs> <laughs> but the... Uh, Earl Patrick, who succeeded his father in 1600, was known as Black Patty because he had a reputation for violence and a taste for luxury he couldn't afford. Yeah. Which we mentioned. Met him yesterday, didn't we? Well, not literally, but 
Incredible. Heard all about him, yeah. Yeah. So this is Lord Robert's palace at Bursay, founded in 1574, completed by his son, Earl Patrick. So he spent more money. But he couldn't afford it. <laughs> he probably was one of these characters who doesn't worry about money. Yeah, that's know. right. Yeah. <laughs> Took out a load of loans, didn't he? They yeah. couldn't pay back. Yeah. And the floor above was the South Gallery linking the West Range to the Lord's Chamber in the East. Yeah. It's quite, still quite a bit of it remaining. Probably been robbed for, uh, I dare I say it, uh, houses over the many years. The life of a palace. So despite the many gun holes, a palace was a place of grandeur and elegance. Uh, it contained all the rooms needed to keep the old living in style, including a gurnal, which is a granary, brew house and ample cellars for uh, supplies. It's green gun, that's it. The palace was well equipped for sport and exercise. There were archery butts, links and even a bowling green. James Dixon, attendant to Robert's oldest son, wrote to a friend in Edinburgh requesting golf balls so he could play around. It was most likely played on the links by the palace, although they seemed to have been used as a warren, a place for rearing rabbits. <laughs> Hear that, Poppy? A room-by-room room list of the palace's contents were drawn up in 1653 when it was used by Oliver Cromwell's troops. By then, most traces of the Earl's extravagant lifestyle had gone and the kitchen, the kitchen contained nothing but muck and filth. This is a chamber next to the brew house, it says. <laughs> so I guess this one's the brew house. Yeah. <laughs> the floor above was the south end of the little wall. We can see the potholes, can you? Kitchen chamber. Go on, Pops, you can go in here. Kitchen. Turnpike stair. Oh, I can see the. She wants to go up there. <laughs> Bobby, I don't think you can actually. Go on. And the wall above can be the remains of a spiral staircase that gave access to the top floor of the tower. Where's the stairs, she says. No stairs pops, are there? Big fireplace there. It's <laughs> disappointing. Disappointing, isn't it, pops? Let's have a look in here, see what's in here then, shall we? Pops, we haven't looked in here yet. Poppy. Poppy, come back. Come on. Lots of little cubby holes here. And a sign way up there. Oh, this was the kitchen serving the great hall and the floor above and the little hall on the adjacent floor of the on the first floor of the adjacent east range. And the great hall was at first floor, floor level extending over the two cellars and kitchen. The hall was entered from a turnpike stair at the east end and communicated with the Lord's Chamber on the west end. the cellars. It's 
still plaster on the wall here. Oh, yeah. Remains of the plaster. Poppy, Poppy, could you come a bit back this way? We haven't explored in here yet. Go on. Yeah, again, a cellar. In the west gallery. Um, Ran the entire length of the West Range at the first floor level. Can't really imagine what it was like. Can you, Pops? Eh? Poppy. Poppy. <laughs> <laughs> the ground floor chamber, probably for domestic stuff. Oh. We're climbing over the walls. Huh? This way. Church here, St Magnus Church at Versailles. Okay. I think this is the car park. Okay. But I think we would have had trouble getting round the castle, the palace, I mean, and that wall there. Yeah, I don't think we would have fitted in the car park either. No. Well, possibly in there, but. Okay, we're going to see what we've got in here, the little shop. Mango and coconut. Mm. Very nice. Mm, quite nice, different. Mm. There was a little bit here about the St Magnus Way, which was a long distance pilgrimage route through the mainland Orkney, established in, 19, in 2000, <coughs> 2017 to mark the 900th anniversary of the death of Magnus. It consists of a short pilgrimage route around the island of Egglesay when Magnus was martyred on the 16th of April, 11, 11, 17. 11, 17, that's right. And five longer mainland sections. I think we're going back that way, so. Yeah, that's where he was martyred there. Yeah. Okay. Have a little wander around the graveyard. Come on. Plain, probably a plain little church. And benches and nice stained glass window at the end. Hmm. Very nice. Go in there, Bob. Yeah, so it says on the thing here, um, this has been a place of worship here for over 900 years. So this is older than the palace of St Magnus. So there were two gravestones from the 16th and 17th century and a stained glass window with scenes from the life of St Magnus. Yeah. Moving on. find some parking further up here. I just wonder if you can walk the causeway to the Brough of Bursay. See another motor home up here, haven't we, sir? Yeah, let's find another motor home in a car park. So maybe. It's, I think it's a tidal causeway. Definitely is when you pass them at low tide. And it's three hours after high tide at the moment. So I don't know if it's walkable yet. I just see people walking up there. Oh yeah, there are people walking up there. Oh yeah. Oh well. Buses only. Over here, I think to the left. Oh no. It's grass, isn't it? I think we're out of luck. 
Unless you turn around and go back and park behind or, us. Or over there, what do you reckon? You'll get stuck in there. If I turn around, I won't. There's a table there. No, but there was a car parked further back and there was some, like, not exactly grass, but yeah. flat area you could perhaps park in. Further back down the road. You want me to go in there? No, no. no the, okay. You see where the car is down yeah. there? There was some flat grass behind that. Okay. I've just parked a little bit further up the road. It was a bit narrow there. So we're going up there. On with Pops. Anyway, here's the causeway. And a load of uh, gardeners up there. I think they assume it's some uh, remains or something there. Old a bit of the causeway, obviously. Beautiful clear water. Look at that, yeah. A bit of a scramble over the rocks now, Pops. Picture about the noise up there. I suppose we've got to keep it tidy. People have been building their little cairns there. <laughs> a ramp up here now. Come on. You might have a look at this on the way down because you probably won't hear what I'm saying. But this was a Norse settlement, Sigurd Thorfinn. Held this and it was a Viking stronghold. Yeah, sheep grazing here, so dogs on a lead. There's gates in its better days. Up there, babes. Up here. God, it's quite warm as well. Oh, take it slowly. Must be about a 30 degree climb here. Well, we're getting there. Come on, pup. I probably could have cycled up here, you know. But I'd have probably burnt the motor out. <laughs> yeah, here's the lighthouse. Yeah, it's quite firmly locked. This is in memory of Captain Tony Taylor, who died tragically on Friday, the 24th of May 2002, while on helicopter operations. Yeah. Oh, but... Oh, hang on. Just a minute. Let's have some views. Quite, quite tall up here. Yeah, quite a long way down as well. Go on. Too close, puppy. It's a long, long way down there. Wow. It's like slate, isn't it? Assume it's limestone. Might be wrong. Go anyway. Oh, 
Loppy, would you just not be quite so adventurous? Eh? <sighs> Watch your step here. All right, pups. It's as close as I want to get, I think. Go on. Poppy just having a little sit down here, aren't we, Pops? Well, we're trying to get Poppy to sit down. I think she's too busy exploring. But yeah, what a place. Beautiful day. A little bit overcast, but don't mind a little bit of blue here and there. Amazing place. Imagine if you were a Viking and you held this place. You wouldn't want to give it up quickly, would you? Commanding views all around. You could see all the enemy boats coming in. They'd have to get up here somehow, wouldn't they? How do you fancy that, Pops? Climbing up these cliffs? No? Ah! <laughs> there was a temptation to want to look down, isn't there? Well, there is for me anyway. You stay, stay there, Pops. Imagine when it's really windy, you can probably hear the wind howling down there. Calm as anything at the moment. A totally beautiful day. All the uh, strimmers are finished. Yeah. I don't know if you There's a sign over there, I'll look at it in a minute. It's probably built about 1100. So monks and lay people. Signs saying that the um, the Vikings had a church here, the Christian Vikings, about 1100. But they said there was a church even earlier in the 700s. Uh, Pictish people built a church. They'd converted in the 700s to Christianity. I don't know if these are graves or, or what. Certainly impressive. So much history here. Whoa. Huge number of uh, cars and vans are turned up now over there. So they're asking, was this Thorfinn's home, Sigurd Thorfinn, Earl Thorfinn the Mighty? <laughs> Remains of Norse houses from the 900s and the 11 uh, and the well, and the tens, 900s and 1000s. Yeah, it was a wealthy and advanced settlement with drainage systems and possibly home to the most powerful man in Orkney. Description of Thorfinn from the Orkning, Orkney Inga saga, written about 1200. The tallest and strongest of men, ugly with black hair, sharp features, a big nose and somewhat swarthy countenance. He was lucky in battle, skilled in the art of war and of doubtless courage. Dauntless courage even. He was a grandson of Malcolm II of Scotland and a formidable figure in Norse Orkney. 
the Orkney Inga saga written about 1200 said he had a permanent residence in Bursay either here or on the mainland. His house was certainly comfortable enough for a man of his status and the largest may have been his hall. Lots of little rooms here as well. A name to conjure with isn't it? Sigurd Thorfinn. El Thorfinn the Mighty. Go on then, pups, go this way. These are the drains. Yeah, the covering slabs are visible. Went down there. Yeah. Alright, we've got to get down there now, pups. Yeah. Back along the causeway. Right, back on the road again after my marathon walk to the broth of Bur Bursay. Poppy's <laughs> gone in her bed, hasn't she? Yeah, Poppy's gone for a sleep now. <laughs> this road is incredible. up the road that way. Yeah, towards the road. Yeah. yeah. Continue on A965. Okay. So that's where we stopped on Sunday. Yeah. In there. No, here. In, yeah, there. So that's about it then, isn't it? Tomorrow yeah. we're back on the ferry. Yeah, it's sad, isn't it? Yeah, I've really, 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 really enjoyed it here. Again, we should have had longer. Yeah, we should have had a week, shouldn't we? Had, we? Yeah, four, we had four, four nights on, uh, five nights on uh, Isle of Wight, didn't we? And four nights here. Yeah, neither were long enough. <laughs> no, no. Think about an island, isn't it, really? You've got to give it more time, I think. Definitely want to come back. I wonder how long the ferry is to Shetland. The what, sorry? You I wonder, said, how, I wonder long? How, how long, yeah. Too long, I think. Well, it's, I mean, it's a bigger ferry. Um, it is eight hours, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we've really, really enjoyed our time on Orkney, so. Uh, hope you have, I hope you followed the videos. It's got plenty more to come. 
Yeah, because we've got another, is it 20 days in Scotland? Yeah, yeah. another 20 days in Scotland. We're going to Dunnethead, uh, Rora, Ro Rosemarkey, Rosemarkey, Morvick, yeah. um, North Leadake and Argyle and then Carlisle. Yeah. So do come along with us if you haven't already. It helps uh, uh, to be able to follow our videos. If you do subscribe, you get a reminder then when we release a new video. So, um, so if you haven't already, leave a comment. <laughs> That'd be good. Let us know what you thought, and uh, we'll catch up with you when we're on. Well, we're heading towards the ferry, ferry. again tomorrow morning. Tomorrow yeah. morning. All right. Okay, see then. you then. Bye then. Bye.